What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks, you see what it is. You know who I am, and as by the picture, you know I'm about to go in on this, but I'm not, go about, I'm not going in like you think I would go in. I'm going to give a couple perspectives of how I feel about this situation, and I'm going to give you different perspectives than what you've been hearing on YouTube or in the mainstream media. Now, this is Michael Sam. The young man plays football, or he's about to play football. He hasn't signed a contract as of right now with the St. Louis Rams and NFL. Now, he's the first openly gay player to, to go to the NFL and try out for a team. I'm like, he, he, I, like I said, this video was done before. He made the team. Now, whenever he was... Whenever he came out, black folks and homosexuals cheered us as a triumph for mankind. We crossed the barriers, you know. We hold hands and all unicorns and the, the whole nine yards. But here's my thing. If you see the picture, he has a, a an Italian boyfriend. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk about a couple. Here's the aspect I'm talking about. Black folks, if you notice, have hopped off his bandwagon ever since this picture has come out. Before, if you notice, black folks were raw, raw, good for him, and this, that, and the third. They saw his boyfriend, it's like, whoa, hold up there, uh, buddy. What you doing? You switching sides. First of all, maybe, maybe he never wanted to sh show this dude to the public till now. Like I said, that's their business. But uh, I want to talk, the hypocrisy of the black folks, now they all, if you notice, there's no really, they're not really champion for what he's doing. They left him, they're leaving him out there, so to speak. Now, that's one issue. My other issue is, well, how does a seventh round pick get all this notoriety? Now, granted, my personal feeling on this is he got fucked over. Excuse my French, and I'm going to say this so everybody can hear it, so you know what I'm talking about. He got fucked over. Now, here's how he got fucked over. He was drafting the seventh pick. I think it was either two, either the 200th and 48th, 49th, or 50th pick. The Rams had two picks, I think, back to back. And you mean to tell me, this kid, I mean, yes, he had a bad combine, but he, he, he had a 4940, I think, in the combine, and his reps in the 225 weren't that great. But when he had a private workout, I think he moved up to like four seven three in the forty. But here's here's the thing, and I you hear coach if you if you if you're in the NFL football, you will hear coaches say, "Well, I looked at the when they talk about player, when I look at the tape, all this kid did was make plays, and all this kid did. Now look, mind you, he was the he was the well, he was the D co defensive MVP, I think of the SEC or Big Ten. I don't know what conference Missouri was in. I won't say SEC." But he was the co-defensive player of the year. Now, you just don't get that by just showing up and putting on a pad and say, hey, I'm Michael Sam. This kid had to have some talent to get to that. And that alone, I think he got shafted. He should have been, me personally, he should have been a third to fifth round pick, honestly. I mean, second would have been a stretch. Because, like I said, his, his combine and prime was where he had a lot of schemes tailored to him. But there's no way in hell this kid... Should have been a seventh round pick, and the media attention a seventh round pick got is 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 he's, <coughs> excuse me, he's gonna have a lot to hang on, to hang on his head. Now, if it works out, great. If it doesn't work out, he's gonna be. I mean, he might as well ride the ride at high right now because low is gonna crash. Now, another thing I'll talk about. People are making a big deal. Oh, two men kissed on TV. And ESPN of all fucking things. You know, I still watch ESPN, but let me go in on that one. So here's the problem. You have a problem with the Duck Dynasty, with old man, what he said on Duck Dynasty. You have a problem with the twins said on HGTV. Now, they were expressing their views based off of their religious preferences. And now you're, you're taking, trying to take a lot of things out of the schools. But here's what gets, here, here, I'm going to put it in perspective. When Tim Tebow was practicing his Christianity, everybody and their brother made fun of this dude. 
Everybody you know mocked him and laughed him at him, but I, I gave him credit because he was professing his faith, and I give you that. But in this situation, you got two dudes kissing. All of a sudden, you're acting like you just you know landed on Mars or something. Like this is the greatest greatest shit on Earth. Now I think it's just the way society has gone, and people need to speak up if they don't feel like it. Now me personally, I don't care. Look, let me tell you something. I'm a, I'm a professional football fan. And let me tell you something. I think most fans, and I think most players will tell you this. I don't care if he's gay. I don't care if he's into goats or whatever. As long as he's not in the little kids or nothing. He just got to put the pads on and make the plays. That's it. If he can do that, I could care less. You know, but he's going to have a lot to, lot to rise up from. I mean, like I said, I repeat this again. I think he got shafted. He should not have been a seventh round draft pick. If, if you've seen the kid play... I seen some tape on a dude. He, he wasn't a bad dude as far as playing, but uh, first of all, he, he wasn't a he, she got screwed in the draft. The black folks dropped off of him once they seen that picture of him and old boy, and how on TV now this turned into you can't talk about religion or this that and the fifth, but yet you can do stuff like kiss men on men can kiss men on TV. So it's three things right there, right there in one since the powerful message to your youth. At the same time, I'm like, you know, you got to explain this to them. So, that's just my perspective, and I hope that he makes it in the NFL. And let, let's, let's quit all the bashing, all right? Peace.